Hi everyone, I'm back with another haul video. Um, this is going to be a combination of uh, stuff I picked up at garage sales today and thrift store and an estate, the estate auction that I got stuff from. So um, there's going to be so, uh, some clothing as well. So I'm going to save that to until I after I finish the hard items. So those of you that aren't interested in clothing at all, uh, I'll let you know when I get to that point and you can um, move on to another video if you'd like. If you're interested in both, then you can watch the whole thing. Anyway, um, so kind of catch you up on the last, uh, since my last video, we uh, had a big old snowstorm come in this week. Um, I still went out Friday looking for garage sales because uh, it wasn't that bad in my area, but I guess I made a mistake and I went north of my of where I am and it was still snowing that direction. They had gotten more accumulated snow than us. I was getting a lot of snow at my place, but it was melting. It was a typical Colorado uh, spring storm, very wet, heavy snow and a lot of it melting. And uh, so I went out anyway on Friday and I gave it a shot, but the people selling weren't they weren't uh there was no, nothing open so um sorry my cat is playing with the cords um so anyway so i didn't get anything uh friday at garage sales but so i went ahead and hit uh the thrift store across the street from me and uh picked up some clothing uh there but anyway that's enough chit chat let me get into what i picked up recently um i did get this at the thrift store it's one of the vintage uh, speak and spells. Um, I've got a set of the three different types. This is the speak and spell. There's also a, a speak and math and a speak and something else. And I've got a set of three of those up on Etsy right now um, that haven't sold. But uh, I just have this one. I haven't tested it yet, but it, assuming it tests right, I, you know, I think I can get about 20 bucks for it. And I paid um, $3 for it at the thrift store. Uh, next couple items I got on the Goodwill auction site, uh, where I'm able to pick up my stuff locally so I don't have to have them ship it to me. Um, first is some uh, wine bottle corks. Uh, there's four of this famous grouse, which uh, I believe is a, a whiskey. I'm not a hard liquor drinker, but um, so it's a kind of a pewter figure of a grouse. And the cork there's four of those and then there's two of these i'm not sure what they are i am going to test them to see if they're silver i mean i'm sure they're not but i'm going to test them anyway because they kind of have a different look they're not pewter um and i don't know what they are but uh i, I got these cheaply uh you know around 12 bucks or something just to give them a shot um i did see uh where the grouse one has sold before and I've got four of them I don't know if I'll put them up as a set of four or sell them off um, as a quantity of four so one listing quantity of four and then people can buy as many as they want but um, I thought I'd give those a shot next item I'm actually keeping I got for myself but I wanted to show it because it's really pretty and very cool it's a Christmas ornament handmade by an artist that does egg dioramas and it's it's an egg that's been treated, from what I've read up on the artist, uh, the eggshell gets treated multiple times with some sort of layering that um, keeps it from being as fragile as an eggshell would be. And then she does a diorama, and then it goes inside a little piece of plastic glass there. And uh, her ornaments were expensive. I don't know if she's still doing them or not. Um, I really didn't find any on eBay when I was kind of searching to see if it was worth buying for resale, but um, I couldn't really come up with anything substantial, but I decided I liked it, so I was going to get it for myself. So, And it, it is numbered, signed numbered. This one is 47 of 90. And um, the artist is JBW Studio. Um, this particular ornament is the partridge and the pear tree. And uh, her name is, I forget what her first name is, but it's Jay Brooke is her name. Um, and she's out in California uh, and the Oakland area. So um, anyway, I liked it. I got that for myself. It's in this nice box with a purple silver lining. And uh, so I picked that up for uh, 10 bucks for myself. Um, 
to add to my collection. Let's see. All right. So on to, I think, barrage sale stuff now. Uh, picked up another puzzle. Picked it up for a buck. Um, there is a listing on Amazon. There's no one on it, and there's no history on Camel Camel Camel. Um, I couldn't find any on eBay either. I did finally find some that's from the same artist, Jim Kill Killen. But anyway, it's a nice puzzle with a good theme, so I'll probably you know put it up for 15, 20 plus shipping. Let's see. Picked up. This was not a great pickup. I paid too much for it. We'll put it that way. It is new in package. It hasn't been opened. It's a pan digital digital camera or not camera uh, picture frame. And some of these can do really well, and they wanted $8 for it. Uh, because it hadn't been opened, I went ahead and popped on it. Uh, the only problem was I didn't realize until later that the UPC code had been cut out. So clearly there was some sort of uh, rebate or something. But it looks like I'll be able to get about 20 plus shipping for it on uh, eBay. Um, and I paid eight, so no huge score there. I'll get my money back and a little bit of profit, but nothing, nothing major. Um, picked up a baseball bat in a lot, or a softball. Um, looking up comps, I should be able to get about 15, maybe $20 for it plus shipping. I got that along with uh, some of the clothing. So in essence, I got the bat for free um, because I would have paid what I paid for the clothing. Um, so. I'll take the 15, 20 bucks from it. Uh, uh, I picked up, and I'm not going to bring it all over, but my big score of the day was a huge lot of at least 250 CDs, all big band and orchestral, or not, um, uh, what's the word? You know, like Bach and uh, that type of music. So not normal pop music or anything like that and those CDs can tend to do better picked up the entire lot along with a few other items um, for $60 <laughs> I had to battle with the woman she uh, I, I asked her what she could do if I took all of the CDs and uh, she couldn't come up with a number she says you know well, how much would you be willing to pay and I threw $30 out at her and she says oh that's a lot of CDs I can't just do 30 and I said well how much do you want back and forth I swear it must have been 15 minutes before she finally agreed on 60 she wanted to talk to her husband who was out putting out up signs he didn't take his phone with him so she couldn't call him and uh, it was his mother's estate that uh, her mother-in-law had, had died. So they were cleaning out the estate. And um, she, so finally, I got her to say, yeah, she, she thought 60 would be fine. So I got them all. It's got to be at least uh, 250. I kind of roughly counted them up, and it's about 250 CDs. Not all of them are going to be worth anything. Um, but I already did scan through some of them, and there's some that's going to make me $5 profit after fees and everything. Others that will make $10, $15. I think there is even a, a couple I can pawn that you know may make a little bit more than that. So I'm going to make my money back big time on it. But I also, with the $60, uh, got some other items. I got a 50, 50 Shades of Grey book set. It's the, the trilogy, new in package. Um, and think I saw on Amazon I'll get about 25 for it um, so that's a big hunk of my money back right there I got this for myself Carol Burnett show DVD one of my favorite shows ever and I'm always keeping an eye out for these because they're expensive to go and buy um, so I haven't been able to buy a whole set unfortunately this is just one of the, the discs to an, you know, an entire set but it's got a couple episodes on it so I put that into my stack so that is for me. Um, a couple of other DVDs that really didn't have much uh, value, but they were new in package, and I always give a shot when I'm putting a bundle together like that. Um, and then a couple of Wayne Dyer audio uh, books. This one's been opened. Um, so with it being open, I think it, I might make 10 bucks on this one. This one's still sealed, though. And uh, I forget now what the price, but it's probably like uh, 20 bucks or something I'll make on that one. So that's another good hunk of the 60 back. And then um, 
let's see. Oh, and then these boots. They're in the original box, which is down on the floor, but they're Alpina, backcountry, some sort of um, skiing boots or something. They've got a metal hook on it right there. Not even sure exactly if it's snowboarding, if it's skiing, cross-country skiing maybe. I don't know. Um, I know it's not downhill skiing because I'm a downhill skier and that's so maybe it's cross country. But anyway, they've never been used. I've got the original box um, and I looked up the comp, looked up the model and it looks like uh, right now I could uh, make about 40 bucks plus shipping on them. And maybe if we get once we get back to winter, if I list them then maybe they'll go for more. But I mean, I'd be happy with the with the 40, 45 uh, plus shipping. So I got all that for 60 along with all of the CDs that, you know, when I'm sitting watching TV, I'll just sit and scan through and pull out the ones that are worth sending into Amazon or um, or eBay. And uh, then the rest will either I'll, um, maybe lot up for eBay or I'll send into that. I forget the name of the site, but they buy DVDs and CDs. You don't get much for them, but, you know, it adds up and you know, if you can get an extra 20, 30 bucks out of it, that works. Um, let's see, another sale. I picked up a bunch of quilting DVDs and a uh, whole stack of them. Out here. These are all quilting. And, um, oh, I just, I just sold some flatware. I think I sold flatware the last time I was doing a video too. Maybe I should do more videos. I'll sell out all my flatware. Um, so this whole stack of uh, quilting DVDs, they had them marked at two bucks a piece. About half of them have never been opened. Um, so I was able to get them to give them all to me. There's 15 DVDs. So it would have, the normal price would have been 30. But I got all the DVDs plus a cashmere sweater that I'll show later um, for $25. I've already gone through, scanned them. Some of them aren't worth selling, but others are worth $20, $30, dollars So I uh, total it all up. It looks like I'll get a little over $200 in sales uh, from them. So I will take that. And DVDs are so easy. Some of them will go to Amazon, but some I'm actually restricted in. Because on Amazon, I can only sell DVDs that their original selling price was 25 or less, or less than 25. So if the original selling price was more than 25, um, I get restricted on it. So I have to put those up on eBay. But I checked them on eBay, and they were selling there as well, you know, for a little bit less than what Amazon would sell them. But so it totaled up; it was about $200 in sales uh, before fees. Um, so I'll do good on those. Uh, I think that's it for the hard items. Um, so I'm going to be moving on the floor. Oh, wait, although there were a couple things on the Goodwill auction side. I got some military stuff. They're kind of sitting behind me. But one thing is this mummy bag, sleeping bag with a hood. Thing's huge and heavy. And it's a uh, bag. I took it out of the bag, but it comes in the bag. Uh, picked up that and then picked up a couple of... Um, military uh like a messenger bag and then a tote bag type thing i got them i think total it was two different lots um and i think i spent a total of 30 dollars for them all um i haven't i don't really get into the military stuff because i don't know it that well but i put in low bids and i thought well if i can get them that's fine and i got them so be a little education for me as i go into them the mummy bag it's really big and heavy i might put it up locally see if i can sell it locally um, it's really warm you know there's probably some uh, campers that would like it so anyway i'm going to move on to the clothes now so if you're not interested in clothes uh, um thank you for watching um, but if you are interested in clothes, I'll show you what I got. Let me uh, make a little bit of room here, though. Um, let me grab this bag. Um, after I was done garage selling, I hit a uh, little, um, this is the thrift store that, uh, we, the Rehome, where they do have a lot of home improvement type uh, stuff. Um, I've got one near me. I don't hit it very often. It's kind of in an area that's under a lot of construction, and I hate going that direction. But I was uh, close enough to it today on my way home. I thought, let me go in there and uh, see what I can get. I didn't get any hard goods, but I did get a bunch of uh, good clothing. So I got a, I love the t-shirts. I got an Eagles uh, Long Road out of Eden. 
it's not a really old t-shirt I and mean, it might have a little bit of age but it, you know it's it's just an anvil for the t-shirt people that know the t-shirt tags um but you know this little thrift store the clothing is really cheap um i'm not even sure what the t-shirts were they're probably like a buck or something um so i just went ahead and grabbed it i love the the, the band shirts and everything I, you know even if they're not vintage i can usually get about 10 bucks plus shipping for them so um then these are mine or at least a couple of them i am a, a gamer um video game gamer and one of my favorite games ever is fallout 4 and i've been wanting to get a t-shirt of two of the game but i didn't want to pay full price being a picker we hate paying full price and I just know eventually I would find them somewhere, either a garage sale or a thrift store. And it finally happened. I did. So I found three, two of which are the exact same. And they're um, size medium, which, and, and I don't think they've ever been worn or washed. Um, they still got that crisp feel, um, like they've never been washed. So um, they're actually going to end up being my size after I wash and they shrink a little bit. So this is one of them. It's nuclear winter and those of you that are into gaming and uh, don't know the games you won't re you know recognize the logo or anything but if you are into gaming and you know fallout 4 you recognize the the, the shelter boy there so that's the one that there's two of so i'll keep one and i'll actually sell one because uh it's a very popular game and their shirts are uh good sellers and i can sell it as uh new without tags so uh so I'll keep one, and then this is the other one that's different that I'll be keeping for myself. And uh, so I was super excited about that. I just I knew eventually I would find them, and uh, and I did. So those are mine. Um, a pair of Nike, the athletic department uh, cargo style shorts. So there's the label. It's that athletic department uh, label um, they are cargo style but it's not the, the thick cotton that cargo shorts usually are it's uh, just the thinner and the thick plaid and uh, their pants and shorts are uh, either two fifty or three dollars so um, price is right for that got a Ralph Lauren 2XL I'm only interested usually in the large sizes for Ralph Lauren shirts, but this is also the popular green and blue plaid, and it's the Elliott style. So I like finding the less common, the less common style, and this is the Elliott, and it's 2XL, and their shirts are only uh, 250, I believe. So price is right, it was in good condition. So I should be able to get 15 to 20 for that. Got a women's Lauren, Ralph Lauren, 100% linen blouse, top shirt with the roll tab sleeves. Um, linen is uh, popular during the summer. It is long sleeves, but it's got the roll tab and it's a, it's a good uh, career shirt. So I'll put that in the listing. And so I'm not a business lady, you'll probably want that. All right, Horny Toad. I've heard people talk about the brand Horny Toad. I believe they've changed their names now. Can't figure out why, but Horny Toad um, pants, hiking pants. And uh, it's got the, uh, the toad embroidery on the back hip. There's the, the label. I've, I know I've heard somebody say that this brand is decent. So I went ahead and grabbed them as much for me to sit down and do the research on them. I keep meaning to do it, and I just always forget. But now that I have a pair, um, that'll make me sit down and research the brand and determine whether um, they're worth picking up or not. So I get educated on it. So next is a Not Your Daughter's Jeans. Jeans. I think this is one of their original type pair because this label is different from their current purple label. Um, the material tag, or yeah, the material tag is different. Um, they are still made in the USA, or it is still made in the USA. It's size eight, um, 
and it's got the rhinestone bling along the pockets and then all the way down to the ankles. So, um, and they're in hardly used condition. There's no wear on them. So, I like that brand, but um, I have to get it at the right price because they don't go for as much as they used to. Um, but at the price that I get at this thrift store, which I believe is for three bucks, uh, grab those. This is a brand I'd never heard of before. What caught my attention is they're made in Fiji. And it's Kahala. And here's the, the this is the label on the outside. And then there's this fancy label on the inside on the pocket. They're made in Fiji, just casual shorts. Uh, men's shorts and I quickly looked up comps and there weren't a lot of them so I know that you know there's not a, a horrendous amount of these out there um, but they, there were a couple that sold so they were interesting enough to buy for the, the 250 that I paid and then I picked up this tie and I had to pick this one up because it is 100% wool and made in Scotland and it's got that classic tartan red tartan pattern and even though it doesn't have a brand on it but just the fact that it's made in Scotland 100% wool and it's got the good tartan pattern um, they sell their ties for $1.25 you know I have no doubt I can I can get 10 bucks for that so um, so that's what I got at that thrift store spent a total of $12 and change is what it ended up being they, they must have been maybe it was 50% off because everything that I got there at the prices that I know they sell their stuff with, um, would have been more than that. And there was actually there was one more item, and it was the big item. Grab it. But the big item I got there. It's a North Face jacket. Comes with the hood. North Face, but it's a. This is on the inside. Let's see that. I don't know how to pronounce it. Rico, Reco, R E C C O, Avalanche Rescue System. The garment's equipped, this garment is equipped with a Reco, Rico, Avalanche Rescue Reflector. So I guess um, these patterns are the reflection, reflective to help if you're in an avalanche to be spotted or something. I don't know. It's North Face, polyester down. It's heavy. It appears to be super warm. And some sort of official avalanche here, I guess. Lots of pockets. And this was $5. So I know it must have been 50% off today. I, I didn't even see any signs or anything. But I only ended up paying all for all that stuff, including this jacket, $12 and change. So that's a good score. Let's see. Now, some of the clothing I picked up at garage sales today. I got this, got a couple of cashmere sweaters. Uh, this one, the brand is Tweeds. I don't, I don't even know if it's an anything brand, but I pick up cashmere in any brand. As long as I can, I don't find any holes and there doesn't appear to be a lot of wear. This is a nice V-neck, Argyle, uh, black, uh, size large. Uh, I'm not even sure if it's a men's or a women's. Probably looking at the size, probably a women's. But I'll figure it out when I get the, the measurements. But there's the brand, or there's the tag. And I love selling cashmere. Can always get, regardless of the brand, 18, 20 bucks for cashmere. And if it's a better brand, even more. So I got that one of the garage sales. Uh, I think that was the one that I got along with those um, quilting DVDs. And then I had another sale I picked up. Um, these three pieces of clothing and I think the bat. Uh, just a Victoria's Secret pink zip up hoodie with the uh, 80, what was that, 86 on the back. I grab that. Another cashmere sweater. This brand is GSM. I'll show you the, uh, the label. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right or not. I've never heard of the brand. I don't know if it's a high-end brand or just a low-end brand, but once again, 100% cashmere, size large, 
Uh, I put that into my pile. And then Under Armour. Under Armour zip up hoodie. Um, the cool thing is, I don't think this was ever worn. It's still got the original tag in the pocket. So it's not attached, but it's in the pocket. So I think I'll be able to sell this as new without. I'll put it as new without tag, but I'll include the tag but because it's not attached. Originally sold for 100 bucks. So that was included. Those three pieces of clothing and the bat that I got, I got for $10. And so happy about those. Um, okay. So now I hit the thrift store on Friday when the snow kept people from having their garage sales. So I hit my uh, local thrift store and I got my first ever Seven for All Mankind Dojo. First time I always look for them since I found out about them not too long ago. Um, and the funny thing is that there was one tag half off. The yellow tags were half off on Friday and it was a yellow tag. So I got them. They were originally eight. So I got them for four. So I don't know how they made it to half price day. But uh, that's my first pair of dojos. Let's see, you got a pair of Lee, um, almost white. They're, what is it? Is this the stone wash or acid wash? I don't think they're, it's the acid wash. Might be stone washed, extremely stone washed. Uh, but it was half price. I grabbed them because after the half price, they're only two bucks. And uh, they're mom jeans. They've got the, uh, the high rise. So the, the mom jean shorts, Lee brand at two dollars i just broke my nail um american eagle short short jeans cut off distressed i had a pair of these that i picked up and i put up for auction and a uh, ton of views and i think i had three or four different bidders and it went up to about 15 bucks um i, I did go ahead and pay full price five dollars for these but I like the traffic that I brought to my store. So even though, I mean, they didn't sell for a lot, they got a lot of interest. So I'll put them up for auction again, probably starting at $9.99 and see if it can bring in some traffic to my store. So, um, so you know, there won't be huge profit since I did pay $5 for them, but I mainly got them for the traffic it'll bring. And another, let's see, an American Eagle, this is kind of cool, but pink, short shorts with the belt. I didn't even look these up. They were half price. And so I got them for $2.50. So that was a no-brainer. I wasn't even going to look them up. I don't know how the colored ones do. The fact that it comes with the belt uh, at $2.50, I figure that's a no-brainer. Once again, maybe it'll bring the traffic into my store. Miss Me. I just sold a pair of Miss Me jeans this week for $30 plus shipping. These are acid wash, short shorts, Cut off, distressed. They've got the bling, got the rhinestones. You know, the funny thing is, they're a lot like the jeans that I just sold this week. Just these are shorts, and they were full. They were full jeans that I sold this week. They're marked as as is. I think just because of the distress, which it's all manufactured distress. I looked to see if I could find something particularly wrong wrong with them. The zipper works. Um, it's got the, the button, so I don't know why, they, you know, I can only think that they had them marked as is because of all the distress. I uh, did pay full price for them. I paid eight bucks, but I'll pay eight bucks for this me because they have a high end brand. <coughs> and another pair of short shorts. Oh my God, these things are so tiny. I don't think my thigh would fit in these. Um, this is a brand I've never heard of, Wallflower. Let's see that Wallflower. Um, paid four bucks for them. Uh, I looked up comps and I l liked the, the comps enough for me to grab them at four bucks. Um, but I mainly got them so I could come home and research the brand a bit more. Um, they are the, the, the short shorts, distressed, cut off. Um, so I don't know. I, I don't know anything about the brand. Um, so I mainly got them to do the research on them. Let's see, plus size LL Bean Original Fit Relaxed, size 20W. So plus size, 
Good Sellers, L.L. Bean, Good Condition Jeans. They've got the uh, elastic side waist. Um, so I got these. They were half off. Got them for two fifty. Lauren Ralph Lauren. Uh, I do well with their uh, their jean style you know, pants. It's not the blue jeans. It's more of a uh, beige. Um, but they're also a plus size, I do believe. Yeah, 18W. So Lauren, Ralph Lauren in a plus size, really good condition. And I got these at half price for, they were originally seven, so uh, 350 Uh, these I picked up, they're the, the shiny, I guess, what is it? Is it my one? They're Nike. It's that label. I don't know if that's a vintage label or not. They're not made in the USA. But I like the fact that on the lab, it's got Nike, the spell out Nike. Um, they're just that, that's, um, you know, slick shiny type material so um paid five dollars for them just as a hunch like i said they're not i they're, i don't know how vintage they are they're made in indonesia but i had a hunch that this style do well so i paid five bucks for them uh, let's okay found another large size bra uh, really good condition. The brand is Chantel, and the size is 40 quadruple D. So 40 D D D D. So add that to. Uh, I've sold a couple of the bras that I picked up before, so they do seem to do okay. Um, keep an eye out for this brand, Scully. That. Scully, it's Pearl Snap, Western shirt. Um, it's one of the higher ends. Uh, for, I think the comps on this, I mean, I just did a quick look, but I think it may be about a $30 shirt. Um, and I got it full price at seven. Um, but, you know, I'll pay seven if I know I'm going to get 30 or more for it. Brooks Brothers sport shirt. But what I really liked about this one is it's that patchwork style. Um, or maybe you can put in madras as a keyword, although there are some people out there that are very picky about the word madras. Um, I had someone contact me once. I had that word on a shirt that, that just because of the style. And uh, he jumped all over me about that is not a Madras. Madras is specific uh, material and location and this and that. And so I don't know. Um, but it is the patchwork. I definitely will use the patchwork. Um, and it's Brooks Brothers. It's their sport line, which isn't as good as the regular line. But I thought with the, the pattern, that was good enough to uh, pay five bucks for. Let's see. Hugo Boss. You go a boss, high-end brand. Um, I specifically got this one because it's the slim fit. The Hugo Boss slim fit are pretty easy sales. Somewhere between uh, $20, $35, depending on you know, the style, the size, and everything. And I paid uh, $6 for that. Cool. Love finding a cool brand. Tag. Get out of the way. Cool. Just a uh, long sleeve button front shirt. But uh, pretty much anything cool sells. Got it for five bucks. And it's a nice plaid shirt. Winnie the Pooh scrubs. Always take a look in the scrubs. Um, you're not, you're not going to get a lot of money for them. But if you can get them cheaply, depending on the design um, or the brand, and this is Winnie the Pooh. You know, there's some Winnie the Pooh fan out there, maybe some that works in the pediatric department. Uh, I think it's decent quality because it's got the double pocket. So the nurses have the double pocket to put their different things in. Um, and I got it for half price, so I paid $2 for it. So 
I should be able to get 10, 12 books for that. Rock 47. That's the brand, Rock 47. I do believe I've sold Rock 47 before. I think it's sold a t-shirt, women's t-shirt. This has got some uh, cool design on it, silk screen, eagle. I don't know if it's an eagle or a phoenix or what. It's got the 47 on the collar. It's a pearl snap or snap front. Long sleeve. It's had a lot going for it. I did pay $8 for it. Um, but I think I looked up the comps again and I saw that the brand does well. And the fact that it was a snap even has a special type snap on the forearm. Oh. You can see that, but it's different than all the other snaps, and it says Rock 47 and has that, that Evo or Phoenix logo, whatever it is. So. And Teeter Millar Summer Comfort, kind of the golf shirt style. It's got the TPC Las Vegas. On the chest, uh, the brand Peter. Peter Millar, or however you pronounce it, is a high-end brand. I always do well with it. Always gets a lot of attention. Um, and I got, uh, I did pay six dollars for that, but uh, it's in perfect condition. No snags that I can find. So I think I'll be able to get twenty-five plus for that. And I think what is it? Oh, one more down here. Vintage Victoria Secret satin robe. Um, let me find the top. There we go. It's that vintage Victoria's Secret with that gold print label. Really nice uh, rose floral pattern. It's got the belt. Did make sure that it had the belt. Um, I didn't see any flaws or anything in it. Really, really pretty. Really nice. Um, and I got it for half price. It was originally $8.99. So. That's four fifty. I ended up paying for it, but I like the vintage Victoria's Secret robes like that. They they get good interest, and uh, I don't know how much I'll get for it. I haven't really looked up the comps, but you know I'll probably be able to get pull out twenty on it. So that is it. So that's everything I've picked up in the last week. A variety of uh, places that I'm picking my uh, inventory up and types of stuff. Um, don't know. I probably won't go out again this week until next weekend's uh, garage sale. So. Looks like we should have better weather next weekend. So it was a struggle today um, because even though the weather had cleared up, it was still very cold. And I think a lot of people just got scared off with the storm that we had that was still going as of uh, Friday after or Friday morning and finally wrapping up Friday afternoon. Um, and uh, so I think that just made a lot of people just decide to not do it at all. So, you know, I found some there were some community sales, but not a lot of people doing it. So it was a struggle. but. Um, I was able to find some good stuff, and that CD haul should be good. So I'll be able to sit down while I'm watching TV and just start scanning them and pick out the good ones and get them listed. So I think I'll do pretty good with everything. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed and you want to see more of my videos, hit the subscribe button. I will uh, probably be doing a sales results video here in the next day or two, get you caught up on what I've sold recently. And uh, I think that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.